welcome back to our channel. So as you read from the title, this is my surgery vlog for my endometriosis. So basically what I'm having done is a lapros, no, lap, how do they say it? Laparoscopy. Laparoscopy. Don't ask me. I cannot pronounce that apparently. Anyway, so I have always struggled with endometriosis and finally getting answers so we're starting with the surgery she my doctor's gonna go in there see if there's any endometriosis and stuff like that i definitely have pcos or she's saying everything's kind of pointing to that um i've always had really really bad pain during my periods tmi sorry but so that's why we're going in to see surgically if there's something going on so I had my first appointment today. This appointment was basically my checkup, like this is what's going on, this is what we're gonna be doing for your surgery. So I got a little piece of paper and it's my surgery checklist. Um, so I'm having surgery next Friday, which is October 1st. Today is October 22nd. So, basically, here is my little checklist. So first, I have to be at the hospital at 11.30 in the morning when my surgery isn't until 1 because I just have to, like, prepare me for everything. And, yeah, you can't wear contacts. You can't wear makeup, jewelry, perfume, any of that. This, this is crazy. If you have an advanced directive living will or medical power of attorney, please bring me a copy of... That's scary. Um, yeah, basically it's just like the basic things. You can't eat after midnight, drink after midnight. So that's where we're at. Um, I just kind of wanted to give an intro to this video. So just like, hi, here's my surgery. Um, I am very nervous. I've been watching like vlogs of people getting it done. She said, so I'm having... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm having the surgery on a Friday and she said I should be able to go back to work on Monday. So it's not super invasive, but it is going to be painful. So we'll see how I handle it. But I wanted to vlog this. Um, like I said, I've been watching other people's vlogs and I just think that it's interesting and nice to find comfort in somebody else's video. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna vlog my experience and see what goes on. Hello guys, good morning. So it is currently <laughs> October 1st. It's the day of my surgery. Um, on the 29th, two days ago, I had to go get COVID tested. I had to get my blood drawn. They had to see what type of blood I was, all the fun things. Um, they also gave me a specific soap that I had to wash with last night and this morning. It's basically hand sanitizer. <laughs> Smells like it, feels like it. Um, so I just took, I guess I have to keep you over here so you can see me. Just took a shower with that, my beautiful hair right now. And yeah, it's currently 10.04. And my mom is going to be here probably like 10.30, 10.45. We have to be at the hospital at 11.30. So, yeah. I'm getting nervous now. Um, just starting to freak out a little bit. But it'll be okay. I'm going to get my medicine set up for when I get home because I know my spot is going to be right there on that couch right there on the couch so I need to get my medicine set up apologize for the dirty apartment it's kind of life right now um but yeah so this is going to be my spot just chilling right here so I'm at the hospital now with my glittery mask and my glittery or my purple gown. 
my IV. Here's my mother. Yeah, so they stuck my other hand too, and it hurts. Now I'm just waiting for the anesthesiologist and my doctor. Oh, I thought somebody was walking in. <laughs> it's currently 12 13. So I am back home. It's pretty late um, at night, honestly. Um, I didn't film anything just because I have been kind of like resting, chilling. My parents came over for dinner and stuff. Um, but I'm just taking it easy. Um, yeah, I've been taking my medicine, so I'm like very drowsy. Um, but I'm doing okay. I'm just really scared that tomorrow is going to be kind of painful, really painful. Because um, the second and third days I feel like are always the worst no matter what surgery you have. I don't know if I should show y'all my incisions or not. I feel like that might be a little gross. Um, but I have two, so they put one in my belly button and then literally like just, hold on, let me look. Let me, okay, it's probably two inches to the right of my belly button too. I thought it was gonna be on like the side side, like over here, but it's literally, so like here's my belly button. It's like right here, so. But yeah, surgery went well. Um, my throat is super sore right now. Um, they put a tube down in my throat. And so that's like what is causing a lot of pain right now. I woke up and I was cramping really bad. Um, like I was having a period. Um, she didn't find any endometriosis, which is crazy to me. Um, but there was extra like tissue skin tissue so she took that out and then she like cleared my uterus lining of all the buildup that's been in there so yeah so it's crazy that I don't have endometriosis because I was like 100% sure that I did but uh anyway so my mom got me some flowers look how pretty they are let me zoom in on them like, look how pretty. Those are literally, like, all my favorite colors. She was so sweet and with me today, taking care of me while Casey was working. But now it's just me and Casey. Um, but, yeah. Getting taken good care of. Um, drinking lots of fluids. Have my water right here. And just staying posted on my medicine. Um, yeah. That's the update for tonight. Um, I'm probably about to go to bed. It's 9.02. I'm super tired. So, probably going to head to bed. And then, we'll keep y'all posted for the next few days how I'm feeling and how my recovery goes. Hello, Monica from the future here. I am currently editing the video. Um, I wanted to leave this clip in and the next clip you're going to see. Um, <laughs> This one I had recorded once I like kind of was off the medication and everything, but the one that you're about to see after this, I had recorded on Snapchat for my friends and I wanted to involve it because I wanted y'all to see just how loopy I was right when I got home. I thought it was hilarious. So enjoy that. Competitive for a few of you, but um, I'm home and everything went Tomorrow good but she didn't find any endometriosis which is crazy but she basically had to day. clean the lining we of my official. uterus because there was like a lot of On like build up back up you from the you that? Too? um from the last few months of not yeah. having a period so. and then she also found like some extra yeah. skin tissue and got that out too yeah, so right. Seven yeah. years. But no endometriosis, which is insane. Um, but I'm super sleepy. Going on six. <laughs> and I have two incisions. Mm -hmm. But I'm just chilling. Yeah. Good morning. I'm in the legit same spot that I was yesterday. Or last clip, whatever. I don't know. Um, 
but it's now October 2nd and I am super sore just like I anticipated last night yeah it hurts um it's not like cramping or anything like that it's like just very very sore um so I got out of bed this morning took some medicine and I just came to lay in here um so I don't bother Casey but it is currently 8.42 and I take my medicine every four hours which I had alarm set all last night um every four hours and so did Casey to make sure I got up how sweet is that um but yeah so I just wanted to make sure like I stayed on schedule to um take my medicine so I didn't wake up in a lot of pain um so I still have alarms every four hours to take medicine um as y'all can tell I'm kind of like loopy because it makes me very sleepy um but yeah other than that I'm doing okay it's just the soreness um I kind of want to show you all my incisions so if you're squeamish look away right now okay so they look a little bit better this morning so here is my like I told you right to the side um there's like a what did she call it something band-aid so that's what that like blueness is um and she basically said like it'll keep the it's like a what did she call it something band-aid um so like if i take a shower what is it okay so like if i take a shower or something it protects it from the water um so i don't have to like put an extra band-aid on or cover it up or anything like that so that's really good um but yeah that's the update right now um i saw a lot of people on their vlogs had to like stay in the hospital i didn't i just had to like they had to make sure i like woke up and was feeling okay and then they sent me home so at least i'm at home recovering um i'm just getting worried about how i'm gonna feel on monday for work or if I'm going to need to go back Tuesday. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I'm just really sore today. Really sore. Hello everybody. So it is now day four post-op, I want to say. It is third, not Thursday. It is Tuesday. And I was feeling so much better last night. I was like... This is great. Like, the soreness was um, going down and everything. And woke up this morning, was still doing okay. Went to work. I did get a doctor's note that said stay out until Thursday. But I was feeling okay, so me and my dentist were like, let's just... I work for a dentist, by the way. So, we were both like, I'll just come in because I'm feeling okay. Like, all I have, I'm a dental receptionist, so all I have to do is you know sit at a desk to do everything well apparently that was not good <laughs> um i was there from 10 until 1 and just sitting up like this was excruciating i don't know if it's because i've only like laid down for the most part for the last few days or i'm not sure but just sitting up it was the gravity, the pressure on my incisions was hurting so bad. So now I'm in a lot of pain, unfortunately. Um, I was trying to like slowly get off of my really high pain medicine because I hate being on it. I don't like being on extreme pain medicine because um, all it does is make me like loopy and want to go to sleep. So I've just been taking the ibuprofen that she prescribed me, but... It's not really doing anything so 
I came home and my mom was like, you should probably call your doctor. So I called her, the nurse actually talked to me. Um, but she's gonna see if I can get like any stronger pain medicine or take ibuprofen more frequently or just anything to help because I have to go back to work. And this work week is a long one where I have to work Saturday too. So it's like kind of unfortunate. Um, but I'm just hoping I get better and that this pain goes away. Um, my fiance's aunt, Megan, I'm just going to allow me, allow me. <laughs> She's gonna let me borrow some stuff um, to kind of help with the bloating and the pain and stuff. So I'll go get that a little bit later. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm always in the same spot. But it's like, see like that, it's easier to get up. It's easier to like, move around but it's still like pretty painful to just sit and do stuff and like I don't know and I got like excited because I was able to like sleep on my side some yesterday last night um and yesterday when I was napping so I like got so excited I was like I'm better like this is gonna be great and then it's like I was kind of put back to step one which makes me kind of sad because it hurts um but yeah i'm just gonna like take it slow today thankfully my office is closed on wednesdays too um, so today's tuesday um so i'll have tomorrow off to rest too so hopefully by thursday i can get back into the way of things and not be in any pain but yeah this is no fun So it's really dark. Um, I thought I would let y'all see me in a little bit more of a different background, different <laughs> scenery, just because the last, all of the vlog has been inside um, the apartment. So what I'm about to do right now is go meet my mom for my pain medicine. Um, and then probably go pick up my stuff from Megan as well. So I just thought I would bring you along so I'll have a little bit more of a scene than just my apartment. So this is how I have to buckle now. I have to avoid the stomach, go under it tucking in just like that <laughs> so my bloated gut can be exposed good morning again it is now the next day October 6th um, I'm gonna kind of just keep adding clips to this um, I guess until like I feel better um, here I am again Ooh, this lighting's better um, and I feel better like I slept on my side last night everything feels great like I'm not super sore yet <laughs> I just got up um, and it's 11 10 because I'm lazy but anyway um, like I feel better I feel good um, my doctor did prescribe me I don't know if I told y'all different medication so I have that and then Megan I wanted to show y'all gave me I put it oh it's over here probably would be helpful if i knew where i was going so she gave me in order to the border chips first of all some prune juice and then she gave me some of this perk energy um like flavored stuff basically um so these are like the chill ones so that you can take at night you just mix it in with water and she mixes it in with um, milk and creamer. I'm gonna do this one. Um, this one has energy, the other two I think. Oh, this one's energy too. Um, but I think I'm gonna do this one today. So I was gonna make this with you guys. Um, and see how it goes. So 
that looks delicious and it smells super good too. So I'm going to put the lid on. There's still milk all over the counter. More creamer, I guess. So now is the real test, the taste test. That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I think I was going to like it. I think it needs to stir it up a little bit more. There's like chunks in it. But that tastes so good. Oh my gosh. I'll leave a link down for it down below. Not sponsored, obviously. But that smells and tastes so good. And this, again, was the chai latte flavor, if y'all are wondering. Perk Energy. Wow. So good. I love how I always start these next clips good morning guys <laughs> but it is the next morning um october 7th i am in my scrubs getting ready to go to work about to take all my pills um but yeah i'm feeling almost 100 percent better to be completely honest with you guys um last night i had a really good night of sleep um woke up and I was on my stomach sleeping but it wasn't like super painful or anything so that's a good sign um I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow on the um one week post-op um but anyway yeah things are going good now hopefully fingers crossed knock on wood that I don't jinx that today um my incisions are looking better too like the liquid band-aid that I told y'all about is starting to peel and it's itching and I just want to rip it off but I can't but yeah that's the update hopefully things don't go downhill and they go uphill still but yeah I want to upload this tomorrow too Jeez, upload this tomorrow on the week one week mark two but anyway that's this morning all right so this is gonna be the last clip of the vlog i just got home from work and it is october 8th um basically i'm feeling better and i thought a week post-op would be like a good place to end it let me open this and see if i can get better lighting um but yeah so Ooh, there we go um basically I'm feeling better um obviously I'm still having like a little bit of pain I'm a little bit of discomfort but nothing like I was um so that's really where I want to end it I mean this experience has been pretty gnarly it's been it's been one um to kind of you know put it simple but I am grateful that I was able to get that surgery done obviously they didn't find any endometriosis but they did find you know some skin tissue and stuff that they took out and I'm hoping that that will eventually you know help the pain because like I said I haven't had a period in a few months so I'm just hoping that when I do eventually get back on track that the skin tissue being taken out will help me feel better and yeah and I was really scared that I wasn't going to be able to have kids too that was like one of my main worries when I hear the word PCOS um or the abbreviation PCOS but she told my mom that she was very confident that I was going to be able to have kids with no problem so that makes me feel way better but anyway so if I if y'all would want my recommendation for getting a lap, laparoscopy, still struggling, or a DNC, I would definitely recommend it. Yes, you're going to have pain. Yes, it's going to hurt. But I feel like it'll help. And obviously, I don't know what my five-year, ten-year experience is going to be like. Um, but as of right now, I already like feel better and... I don't know it was just a good experience if you are in the Dallas area I highly recommend Baylor Scott and White in McKinney on 380 
um, that's where I went to get mine done and they were amazing all the nurses the my doctor dr halfman they're all awesome um highly recommend dr halfman um but yeah that is my vlog my experience um if y'all have any questions don't be afraid to leave them down below i will answer any questions that any of you may have um and yeah I hope that me and Casey will actually start making videos. We've been slacking. I don't even know if we've made a um, vlog about us being engaged, but we're engaged. There's my ring. Maybe it'll focus on this thing. There we go. <laughs> we're engaged, we're getting married in January. So we need to start making videos about that, just vlogging. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.